Hey, what's going on everyone? Hexers here, and today we will be showcasing the new Lunaster Longsword variant known as the Empress Sword Sticks, which is the Xeno Sword. Now, I absolutely love this weapon. The trade-off from the raw damage for the massive increase in blast, as well as the innate razor sharp ability makes this sword an absolute beast. With the white sharpness, a little bit of handicraft goes a long way, and I'm going to share my build for it with you today. Now, for the longsword, I do have it augmented with an attack increase due to the lower raw, just to help out with the damage a bit. Also with the build, I do have the Nergigante Hunger set. While the healing is minimal, it is still there, and I felt that the attack was overall a better choice. Uh, really, this comes down to a playstyle preference, though, so you can put in a health regen augment if you so prefer. Now, for the gear, we have the Nergigante Helm Alpha, Cold Taras Chest Beta, Cold... Er, Kaiser Van Braces Alpha, Nergigante Coil Beta, Nergigante Greaves Alpha, as well as a Handicraft 3 charm. Now, for the mantles, I chose the Rocksteady and Temporal Mantle. The Temporal Mantle is insane. Coupled with Foresight Slash, you're practically invincible while you build up your gauge. Once full, you can throw on a Rocksteady Mantle and just start hammering away with your Spirit Helmbreaker. Now, again, these are playstyle preferences, and you should take whichever mantles suit you best. Now, after dual socketing, the skills we'll have are the Nergigante set bonus for a little extra lifesteal. Again, this is a minimal amount. Attack boost 4 for the 12 attack and 5% affinity. Blast attack 3 to bring the weapon's blast damage to 300. Critical boost 3. This is huge since our affinity will effectively be 100% on weak points, which brings us to weakness exploit 3 for the 50% affinity to weak points. Handicraft 3 to bring that white sharpness bar up to a massive amount. Maximum Might 3 for the 30% affinity while at full stamina. Next we have Stun Resistance 2. Really, that just comes with the chest, it's just here. Agitator 2 for an additional 8 attack and 6% affinity while the monster's enraged. And finally, Razor Sharp. This is what effectively doubles that white sharpness bar, giving us that 1.32 damage modifier, and is a big part of why we chose this version over the Nergigante weapon for the Longsword. But let's go ahead and take a look at the jewels we socketed to achieve these stats. Alright, so we have a Critical and Challenger jewel in the sword, a Blast jewel in the helm, Tenderizer and Blast Jewel in the chest, Blast Jewel in the gloves, a Critical Jewel in the waist, and an Attack Jewel in the pants. But let's go ahead and see how this setup fares against a Tempered Nergigante. Alright, something I want to mention straight from the get-go for this run. Um, when I did this, I actually ran with the Beta Pants. And I didn't have the other Agitator, so the build is effectively the same, but you will not see Agitator proc. Um, it's literally the only skill missing other than that. Other than that, everything else is identical. Oop, oh, a little early on that. Man, I cannot seem to land those foresight slashes.
But as you can see, the sharpness on this thing is ridiculous. This is what I meant by just going to town with the Rocksteady Mantle. See, when you save it for a little later, you don't regret it. Oh, what? Alright, guess he's already limping away. He's limping. I'm still at white sharpness. I've got about a third of a bar. See if I can get my spirit homebreaker up before. Let's just put a couple bombs here before that wears off. Oh, never mind. All right, what was the time on that? So three minutes forty-three seconds against a tempered Nergigante. As you can see, this weapon is insane. But I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch my video. If you did enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Also, if you would like to see a particular weapon, feel free to leave a request in the comments below. And as always, happy hunting!